Will you survive winter here in the upper Midwest? I've got six tips to help you survive winter in the Iowa City area. Hi there, my name is Emily Farber and I'm a realtor with Leppett Krager Realtors in Iowa City. I create YouTube videos all about real estate and the Iowa City area. I have people reach out to me all the time who have found me on YouTube and I love it. If you'd like to chat with me about real estate, buying or selling here in the Iowa City area, you can find all my contact information down below in the description box. If you're watching this on your phone, all you need to do is tap the title of this video and that description box will open right up. I meet a lot of people who are new to our area and they feel a little bit nervous about winter. This video is for you. As an added bonus, I've created a checklist of items for your car to help you be well prepared for a worst case scenario. You'll find the link for that down below in that description box. Number one, have your car prepared. You do not need to run out and buy a four wheel drive vehicle just because you're moving to Iowa. Of course, there are some situations where a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive vehicle would be nice, but honestly, if the roads are that bad, you shouldn't be out driving in it. In terms of vehicle preparedness, make sure you have decent all weather tires with good tread. Winter time is not the time for a set of bald wheels. Make sure your car is in proper working order. A tune up would be a great idea and try not to let your gas fall below a quarter of a tank. The reason is, if you get stuck somewhere out in the cold, you wanna be able to run your car to stay warm. Number two, brush up on your winter driving skills. We get a fair amount of both snow and ice here in Iowa, and driving on it can be stressful. First off, you're going to want to clear your windshield. Scraping only a tiny peephole for you to see out of is dangerous and it makes you a jerk to the other drivers out there. Clear off the top of your car from the snow so that you're not blinding everyone behind you as it blows off. And remember, even if you are driving a four wheel drive vehicle, that does not mean it has four times faster stopping power. The most important thing for you to keep in mind if you're not familiar with winter driving conditions is to slow down. Leave early to give yourself time. Drive like you've got your grandma in the car with a pot of soup on her lap and you're taking her to the church potluck. Yeah? Give more space between you and the other vehicles on the road and brake early. Do not jam on those brakes. If you feel yourself sliding, let gently off the brakes and the car will straighten out and you'll regain control. Yanking on the wheel in the opposite direction of your slide isn't going to fix it. If you're braking in a straight line and you feel and hear your car brakes vibrating and chattering, that just means your vehicle's anti-lock brakes are working. Don't freak out and let the car do its thing. Three, dress for success. And in the winter, that means layers. You want to keep moisture away from your skin, so choose a base layer that wicks moisture away, like wool or a technical fabric. Obviously, you'll want a winter coat, so look for a coat that's rated down to at least the teens, if not zero degrees. Personally, I like coats that have zippered layers in them so that I can adjust as needed. And consider putting form over fashion. Trust me when I tell you that a winter coat that fully covers your rear end will be life-changing. While short coats might be cute, you're gonna freeze your buns off. And every time you sit down in that cold, frozen car, that slice of skin between the top of your pants and your coat is going to be exposed to the icy tentacles of frozen air. You're gonna want gloves or mittens, and you'll probably lose a mate over the course of the winter season, so buy more than one set. And listen to all the mamas out there in the world, wear a hat. If you can't stand the thought of messing up your hair, at least cover your ears with earmuffs. If you're going to be spending a lot of time outside or you plan to play in the snow, you might wanna grab yourself a pair of snow pants or snow bibs while they're available also. Four, let's talk about shoes for a minute. If your life will involve being outdoors at all, you're gonna want boots. Again, consider function over fashion. Choose boots that are waterproof, 
come up high enough so that you don't get an ankle full of snow and have good treads. Snow in Iowa is generally heavy and wet, which means it gets super sloppy. Leather Uggs are not gonna be your best choice. If you're going to be walking outdoors a lot, you may want a pair of snow and ice grips for the bottoms of your boots, something like Yak Tracks. Side note about all the winter gear, buy it early. It's not available in stores all the time and it gets picked over. Five, if you're the kind of person who always feels cold in the winter, even indoors, and your coworkers won't let you crank up the thermostat, come prepared with a cardigan. I have one that pretty much lives in my office. I also love scarves. I find that if my neck is covered, my whole body stays warmer, and sometimes I even break out my super cool fingerless gloves. Something about having your wrists covered up helps regulate your overall body temperature, but keep your fingers free to carry on with your daily activities. My coworkers tend to make fun of these and they call me a Cindy Lopper wannabe, but I don't care. Number six, there's a Scandinavian word called Huga, which loosely means finding comfort and coziness, focusing on warm, welcoming atmospheres and good people. While the weather outside may seem bleak, you can create a soft, warm nest in your home to ride out the winter. Focus on the small things that bring you comfort. Good music, good books, good food. Have warm throw blankets, light some candles or your fireplace. Use lamps to warm up the dark corners of your house. Enjoy warm beverages. Grow some plants indoors to bring life into your spaces. My favorites in the winter are amaryllis and paper whites. Even though it's cold, still bundle up and go outdoors. People find that fresh air really helps improve their state of mind and try to enjoy the simple things outside like the sparkle of sunlight on the snow or the sound of your boots crunching through the snow crust. I'm not gonna lie, winters in Iowa can be long and they tend to be overcast, gloomy for days on end. It can get to you. People get the winter blues. If you find your mood negatively affected by the season, you might want to consider purchasing a light therapy lamp or talking to your doctor about getting your vitamin D levels tested. I'd love to hear your suggestions for surviving winter, wherever that may be. Just don't tell me if it's on a beach. Leave a comment about it down below. If you're interested in more information about the greater Iowa City area, I have a playlist with all things Iowa City. You should check it out. I'll leave it right up here. Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later. Oh no, my snapping ability has been negatively impacted by my gloves. See ya.